Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat, and oh boy, do I have a heartwarming story for you today. So sometimes content creators, whether it be on YouTube or on Twitch, start to feel entitled. When these creators spend hours and hours of time on providing entertainment, they begin to feel like they aren't getting enough out of it. Sometimes, they begin to think that they deserve their viewers' money. You watch me, so you should pay me. There is nothing wrong with wanting to make money off of what you are creating, and there is certainly nothing wrong with opening up the option for your viewers to contribute to you financially if they so wish. I do it. I have channel memberships and a Patreon page where people can support the channel and get dank rewards out of it. But outside of that shameless plug, the point is, it's not a bad thing to have the option if your fans want to show some support to you. But when you start demanding that people pay you, and when you start whining that people don't pay you, and you treat your audience like they owe you simply for the privilege of watching you, that is when there is a problem. Well, that's exactly what Twitch streamer Bad Bunny does. Bad Bunny is a Twitch streamer who reacts to videos and talks about politics. You can also go for the kill, but she does it so well you actually come back for more and it's, you know... Me, I'm a one-trick pony. You need a sledgehammer, I'm your guy. She's basically the pinnacle of entertainment, almost better than math class. So, seeing as Bad Bunny provides such an amazing viewing experience to her audience, it makes sense that she goes on rants like this. How did my whole speech about how I need subs and to get the stream going if you like the content, blah blah blah, how that result in zero subs? There are regulars here. Five dollars a month! How do you have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars? Honestly, Bad Bunny, listening to this, I'm questioning why anyone would watch you for hours, let alone give you $5 a month. What would I even get for subscribing to you for $5 a month? No ads. The esteemed privilege of being able to talk in subscriber-only chat, and these poopy emojis. No thanks. I'd rather be sat on by the General Sherman tree in Sequoia National Park, which is believed to be the largest tree in the world. Fun fact, probably more fun than watching Bad Bunny streams. I don't know, what are you doing with your life where you have hours of time to watch Twitch and not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching? Does Bad Bunny actually think that because someone has enough spare time in their day to watch hours of Twitch or YouTube that somehow means that they have enough disposable income to give, or in my opinion, incinerate five dollars a month to some whiny streamer? Plenty of people spend their free time watching content on either Twitch or YouTube. I do it. I guess Bad Bunny thinks that if you have hours to watch someone, you should have money to give them. There are so- look at- I have a wall of non-subs! This is fucking actually really heartbreaking. Because it's like people just really have no- they really don't respect me as a content creator. Oh, so now she's trying to play on people's fee-fees. It's heartbreaking. Oh, you just don't respect me as a content creator because you won't give me five dollars a month. That's a really sad attempt to play on people's morals. Trying to make them feel bad like they're using you by not giving you five dollars a month to watch your amazing streams. Apparently the guilt tripping works because someone caves and donates to her after her rant and thank you rory i appreciate it thank you thank you but again if you if you really truly 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 can't afford five dollars a month to support uh the stream fine oh so now that someone donated you mellow out and try to be more reasonable i just think that a lot of people say that and they're liars hold on one daggone moment what? You're saying that people who claim they don't have the money to just throw $5 a month at you are lying. Yeah, you totally know people's financial situations. Like, I get that people have financial issues, but like, I don't believe that half of my viewership is all suffering from crippling financial issues while also having hours upon hours every single day of, of time that they can spend watching Twitch. I find that very hard to believe that your financial issues are so horrific that you have hours and hours every day to watch Twitch, yet you don't have five dollars to, to spare for an entire month. This level of entitlement can only be achieved by the sweatiest of moldy armpits. 
She seriously thinks that because someone has money and has hours to watch her streams, that means they should sub to her and give her $5 a month. And that if they don't have the money to give, they can't possibly have time to watch Twitch. Do you think Bad Bunny donates to every single creator she watches on both YouTube and Twitch? I highly doubt it. I guess that means she's too poor to be watching them and she doesn't respect them. What an entitled viewpoint to have. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. I really truly don't believe it. That's why they have financial issues. Honestly, they need to reevaluate something. They really need to reevaluate your life choices. Yes, if you don't have enough money to donate to me, a political streamer who whines a lot, then you need to reevaluate your life choices. I'd say if someone watches you at all, they need to reevaluate how they spend their time. Wiping your ass with poison ivy would be a better use of your time and a lot less annoying. <gasps> yeah, oh my god! Great. Someone gifted a sub to someone else, giving this absolute unit of entertainment another $5, and she orgasms over it. Great! And of course, money begging isn't a one-time thing for Bad Bunny. She's done it multiple times. And ex Chat! I haven't got a donation or a sub for an hour. What the f- For an hour? Seriously, could you sound any more entitled if you tried? No one's donated or subbed to me in an hour. Time to start laying down the hammer. The where hammer. What the f An hour when I've been working for free? What the f Yeah, Bad Bunny, it would be a crime if one hour went by without you making any money. Your content is among one of the most difficult to create. Sitting in your chair, reacting to news clips from the media, and talking about politics. It's a tough job. So Kimberly, thank you so much. John, thank you again for having us here. It's, uh, it's truly an honor. Uh, like Kimberly, uh, you know, Ronald Reagan was you know, one of the true... Uh, ins this content demands the highest hourly wage possible. It deserves a $50 donation or 10 subs every hour at least. So if you guys haven't noticed, Bad Bunny is a female. Seeing as Bad Bunny is a female and she did an oopsie and people are criticizing her for it, it's time for the White Knights. Oof! Another Twitch streamer, Central Committee, came riding in on his trusty steed to Bad Bunny's defense after the backlash she received for her money begging. And it's about as bad as you'd expect. Because nobody else gets called out like this. No man gets called out for this. Women get called out for this. Women get called out for this. It's so blatantly obvious. I didn't even make 60% of what I would need on YouTube to pay my bills. We're not there, I mean... I... I'm in real dire straits right now because in April, you know, you got all this stuff coming up. You got my, my mortgages that I'm stuck with, my two mortgages. That wet fart you just witnessed was DSP begging for money. DSP always gets made fun of and called out for money begging in his streams. You'll also notice DSP is a he. So this men don't get called out for this argument is really good. And the reason why this is getting retweeted and liked so much is because she's an attractive woman who didn't act like a nice person. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your horse's hooves hitting the road and your rusty armor clanking as you ride off in Bad Bunny's defense. What does her being attractive have to do with anything? That's not why people are calling her out for this. She's being called out because she yelled at her viewers for not giving her money and she's super whiny about it. Which is what makes frus sexually frustrated incels angry. Oh, the irony in what he just said. That's fine. I think that's fine. So if a guy pays for my tab... I think they... I'm just... I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched, like, uh, a vampire touching holy water. Can I help you? Well, I think they want to go in. Okay. Woman not acting. Woman out of her place. Me mad. Notice how that's the only words out of this guy's mouth? Women, women, woman, woman, attractive woman. That's what he sees. Not that she just did something ridiculous and should be called out. His argument boils down to she's a woman and she's attractive. Now him defending her makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So he keeps claiming that she's only being criticized because she's a woman. You guys want to see me play Black Ops 4? $2,500. Other than that, I'm not touching it. Wings of Redemption, another man who begs for money in all of his streams. He is always criticized for doing it. But nah, 
It's only women. Honestly, this money-begging thing just rubs my titties the wrong way. The fact that people are so ungrateful for their viewers, I would never in a million years yell at my viewers to give me money or try to guilt trip them. I provide the option and that's it. No one owes you anything for creating videos or streaming. You should be grateful that anyone donates to you or pays you monthly, because they don't have to. Anyways, money begging is for people with a zero KD on Fortnite. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Huge thank you to all of my amazing Patreon sponsors and channel members. You guys are awesome and it means a lot to me that you support the channel.